Well, hey there again, Mana Church. It is so good to be back with you for day four of this week's Morning Mana, where we are hanging out again, talking about encouragement and the encouragement that we get from the pages of scripture. And I hope you're ready for this one, so let's go. I can remember days or even weeks where it feels like the wind has just left my sails and I have nothing left to give. And that, that's for, for my family, for friends, for work. I mean, you name it, my tank was on empty. And the enemy uses those periods of weaknesses to mess with things in my life. I mean, sometimes it's been super obvious what's happening and other times it's a little more, a little more subtle. Nevertheless, I get to a point where I have to turn to God. Quick sidebar, I think this is one of the things I love. I think one of the things that we all love about David is that he found himself in some pretty serious messes throughout his life. Some of those that he created for himself, some of those mistakes he did on his own, but he always had a way of finding God in the midst of those circumstances and recognizing where his strength comes from. In Psalm chapter 28, verse seven, David wrote, the Lord is my strength and my shield, in him my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts, and with my song, I give thanks to him. There is so much power packed in this one verse. This can be a battle cry for anyone who is needing to find strength against impossible odds. Maybe you're in a situation that, that you don't see a way out. Maybe, maybe you're overwhelmed by the tax, the tasks that you have to complete. Maybe that's at work or in a relationship. Maybe it's a relationship that's experiencing some turbulence. I don't know what that is for you. But take this encouragement with you today, that he is your strength and your shield. Also, Psalm 139 talks about how God hems us in on all sides. This is for our protection. I mean, what a perfect picture of that fatherly love that he shows his children. Or let's maybe look on, a bright, on the brighter side, shall we? Maybe things are going really well for you right now, and, and you want to keep, that right, keep riding that momentum. Well, in that case, as the verse says, give thanks to God. I mean, Regardless, we should always give thanks to God. Ask him for his continued strength and protection. Trust in him for that and recognize where your help comes from. Comes from. Be encouraged that you serve a God who is your strength, your shield, your refuge, your fortress. I mean, look at what Isaiah chapter 43, verse two says. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. Man, that gets me pumped up. And shall I say, encouraged. Well, come on back tomorrow as we continue making our way through some more of the encouragement that we can find in Scripture. Have a great rest of your day. God bless.